a Rams matchup certainly has to uh, bring about some good memories in the three touchdown afternoon you had. Yeah, definitely. You know, obviously uh, it was a good one last year. You know, each each week, each year is a new year, so um, got to come ready to go. George said it kind of looked like you know, the offense can be like Madden with you after that game. Really, how did it open your eyes to see what the offense can be like with you in the offense? Uh, I mean, it's it's great. You know, I think whenever you can get the run game going, it's it's good for everybody. But you know, <laughs> appreciate George saying that. But I, the the thing I love about this team is. Uh, the run game is a commitment of all 11 guys out there, and that's what makes it so special is, you know, one guy has the ball, but there's so much that has to happen in order to make it work. So um, when you do have the ball, you got to be on your stuff because um, your job matters in setting up their blocks because everyone out there is working hard. What have you learned the most from Kyle's offense since that first start last year against the Rams? Say it again, sir. What have you learned the most about Kyle's offense since that start against the Rams last year? I think uh, in Kyle's office, man, you're always learning. Um, each week you're, you're learning something new. And um, I think that th there's purpose behind every play. Um, each play has a life of its own. And, you know, like, like Bobby T always says, for every play there's a coaching point. So um, I just have enjoyed learning um, just the intricacies of, of why he's calling certain plays. And uh, it's impressive to be in those meetings. You ever hear a play called a huddle and you come in and go, man, wait till I see this one. This is going to pop. Uh, you know, hopefully all of them do. You know, you kind of have that mindset going into every play, but um, you know, you just got to be ready for whenever the one that does. Do you talked about the selflessness of this team, and you were just talking about you know, the run game. Is everybody is that unusual with this many stars on a team? Uh, it's not unusual here, which is which is something that's so cool. Um, there is such a, a lack of ego in the locker room, and I think that starts with the leaders on this team. That's why when I came in, it was it was such an eye-opening experience and such a cool locker room to be a part of because, you know, you have so many guys on this team who are, are unbelievable at what they do, but also willing to, you know, block downfield like B.A., like Ray Ray, like, you know, you see Juwan Jennings. He's, he's a guy who's, you know, a star receiver on other teams, a big-name guy who can play the position, you know, really well. Um, but you watch the intent that he blocks with, and that's something that you can't really coach. It's the intent of how you go about your business. So uh, to Debo's point, it's, it's fun to be a part of a selfless team like that. Have you noticed that Jordan James is really good at inspiring personal foul penalties? <laughs> <laughs> Notice that too, yeah. <laughs> Um, talking about that blocking yesterday, a couple players said that B.A. was way more juiced about that block on your touchdown run than he even was about his own touchdowns or anything else. Is that just kind of a testament to how much of an importance Kyle places on that in the offense? Definitely. I think I think the silent tape is really important to us. And, you know, watching the tape um, the next day, I think you're all playing to, to put great stuff on tape. And so when, when you get to watch that with your team, with the guys who have put in the work, uh, that's pr that's the most celebrated part of the whole thing. That's what makes football so great. When you play on artificial turf, do you have to uh, block out any trepidation just the second that whistle starts? Yeah, I mean, it's when it, you know you have to block out everything really and just focus on execution. Kyle, um, the uh, the first game performance and how convincing it was, and he almost cut me off pretty much and said, "Hey." <clears throat> It's not what the video says. We got this, 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 and he was, you know, delineating things that need to be better. Is that kind of how fast you guys get down to business after a game? Hundred percent. I think uh, the games are like that. The practices are like that. You know, it's it's, you know, there there's a lot of accountability uh, with the good and the bad, and that's, you know, that's what's fun to be a part of. Though it's a constant growth mindset. You're always trying to get better. You're always looking to capitalize on the good things, but uh, rarely do you get the same look twice, so that's why it's so important to not get comfortable. That's why you haven't thrown a pass again since I am? <laughs> yeah, I guess so. <laughs> a couple of guys have talked about the Rams. They used to be recently quite star-studded, but their defense is kind of somewhat baseless, but they seem to play you know, with a lot to prove, a lot of scrappy guys and everything. What did you notice from their performance week on? Uh, that's a that's a good way to put it. You know, I mean, they play really hard. They fly around. You know, everyone's faceless until you start making a name for yourself. And I see a lot of guys on that tape who are hungry, um, who bring a, a, a big intent to the field. And um, you know, anytime you're playing a division opponent, especially uh, a team like the Rams, you, you have to bring it. You know, there's.